एवरी वन वेलकम टू द टेकी थिंग्स विद प्रियंका इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गन अ शो हाउ टू क्रिएट बन एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग एस टी एम एक्स एंड टेल विंड सो आई विल बी क्रिएटिंग अ बकेट ऐप वेर यू कैन एड डिफरेंट बकेट आइटम्स एंड आई विल बी रेंडरिंग अ लिस्ट ऑफ दोज आइटम्स डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट आई एम गन क्रिएट अ बन एप्लीकेशन सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी इंस्टॉल द बन बिफोर I have already created a video on that so I'll paste the link in description below if you want to know about it you can go and check that out so first I'm going to create a folder now going to the folder going inside the folder now I'll be running bun init command this will initialize the app Okay, so now our app has created. I'm gonna open it in VS Code. You can use any ID you want, but I prefer VS Code. The very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this TS file to TSXX, and now under the package dot skin, package dot JSON, I'm gonna script tag. This is nothing but it's for ease to run the bun app. Hot for hot reloading. You don't have to refresh the screen every single time you make change. Now let's run our app. So as we can see that our app has run successfully. Now I'm going to create index.html file. In this HTML file, I will be creating HTML elements, and also I will be using all the HTML and Tailwind via CDN. This is the CDN for Tailwind. So by adding this script under head, we can use the Tailwind CSS within our app. I have added this line for adding stmx y cdn and this is i have added for adding hyperscript this line is to support json format in stmx now coming back to the body tag in the body i'll be creating normal h1 tags and the other form tags keep it under main If you have used Tailwind before, you know how Tailwind works and its indexes. If you don't know about Tailwind usage, please let me know in the comment section. I will create a separate dedicated video on that.
Now let me explain what I have done. I have created a novel body tag using Tailwind CSS. It will uh, beautify the whole UI. And this H1 tag, it's a normal tag. In under the form, I have used this label and one input box and one button. So let's check out what's the role of labeling and uh, input and button. I have already created a detailed video on STMX. If you want to know about the STMX and how STMX works, you can see my video. I will paste the link in the description below. I have used this post, HX post attribute with items. This will call the API, post API items on click of this button. And the target would be items, which I will be defining below. After that, we can also define in which format we want our response in. I want my response in JSON format. So I am defining JSON in here. And also on click of submit button, I want to that my input box should be reset. Thus I am adding it here. Now coming back to input, coming back to label. Label is normal that I have added for here for item which aligns with the input and in input I am using ID, item, name item and type would be normal text and the normal CSS class and in the button it would be of submit type and this is a normal tailwind class. After the form, as I said, that's in, in this target I have used hash items. That means it will be rendering its API result in the HTML element where the items is the ID. For example, I have added this section here with the ID items. And it will call the API items of with get. That is the post to create the item and this one is the get on page load. So what should be its trigger point? Page load. So on click of page load, this section will call the items API, get items API and it will render all the items in it. Now coming back to the index.tsx file. First, I'm going to create a server. First, I have created this one server which will use the fetch handler method to fetch all the data from and now I am defining this bucket item type which will contain id of number type and name of string type. Now creating an array of type bucket item it will be empty at the starting. handling these three cases here first case like when we open the normal URL on the browser so we should render our index.html file what should happen when we call the items get API and what should happen when we call the items post API so on the get request what we want we want all the items to be rendered under 
UI. In order to support the UI, in this file, I'm gonna install one more library, which is React DOM. So this will allow us to directly add the UI in DOM. I'm gonna using this method. Also, since it's a TypeScript, I'm going to add the same methods using TypeScript. So in order to install the package with TypeScript, I'm going to add at the right types slash yeah, DOM. I'm going to create a list function which will render the item of list If we get the item then I will render a list otherwise I will be adding no items found It will contain item dot name. One more thing. I'm gonna use this method here under the get. First, I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a stream using this import. Now, we'll be returning this stream in a response. Like this and in the post method what we are gonna do is we are gonna add send it item in this array so for that I'm gonna first read the item from request and then I will be adding the item in array doing the same thing here as well in order to check if your server is running you can using this log you can get the host name as well as the port
Now let's run our app. Bam, run F. You can see the bun is running on localhost 3000. Let's check the app. Add item to the list. Oh, no item added. Wait. Okay, so I have made this mistake. Instead of and operator, I have used or. Please use and operator here. Save the file and run again. Okay, so item one. Okay, so the app is working now. So as you have seen that I have created a bun application using STMX and Tailwind. If you want me to create more such videos, please let me know in the comment section. And if my video was helpful to you, please like, share and subscribe to my channel.